Dubai Canvas Festival is a showcase of pavement art, of graffiti art, of street art in general. Street artists are outsider artists, that is, artists that work outside of the traditional or accepted modes of expression. They're fiercely independent and they have they're very individualistic and have a lot of things to say. What is 3D art? Uh, well, the way we practice it, it's an optical illusion that is um, taking a two-dimensional flat space and making it appear that it's three-dimensional when it's viewed through a camera lens. It's really magical because when you get to the point of viewing, it's revealed, the illusion is revealed, so you have this aha moment. So people can get into the scene and ride on the back of the swans and look like they're part of the party. This art is called anamorphic, that's the technical theorem of it, but uh, people call it 3D art because it uh, sounds better. And this one behind me is uh, augmented reality combined with uh, 3D art. You can see a 3D animation appear when you look through your screen uh, on your tablet or iPhone or smartphone. It belongs to the environment, so it, it, it's, not, it's not for the artist anymore. But it's for the but it's for the people around, and that's and it makes it a quite quite nice kind of art form. It's really exciting. I've taken a walk up and down the street, and there's some just awesome work. So the artwork I'm installing here, the balloon dog, is a little bit after Jeff Koons' balloon dog, famous balloon dog. But mine I've called the fragility of dreams because my balloon dog has a little pin. The child in us. I mean, that's one really amazing thing that I love about the 3D work that we do is it invites even adults to play in the street. I mean, there's nothing else in the world that makes people genuinely play. It brings out the child in every one of us. It's really nice for me. I'm really very excited to stay here in Dubai. It's my first time here. I hope uh, to do uh, good work. It's a good experience. Uh, it's amazing for me. Our artwork is all made out of masking tape. Uh, we're tape artists, so what we do is we draw with masking tape. Our work is quite temporary, so we put it up and often we take it down after a day. They're going to stumble across the art in the street, so it's education brought to you. And it just means that you've got this dynamic energy in the city and you also, it's a way of energising a place so it becomes full of personality. It's fantastic that there is not only the art going on but there's so many workshops, there's activities, so it's getting people involved in a whole variety of different ways of experiencing art. It's fantastic. I'm Julie Kirk Purcell and we're working on a community project today. Um, we'll be working on it for the next few days and basically we've got a bunch of artists from Dubai and just kind of all different walks of life that are coming together to create this large 20 meter by 3 meter long 3D street painting of a canyon. I think, I think also especially what, uh, what Julie did with his, uh, with his little children, uh, getting, um, getting some kind of hope for, their, for, 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 these, for these little ones in, in being uh, uh, creative as, as possible. And then uh, if, they, if they grow up, uh, then they have their dream of being an artist themselves and, and that it is possible. And we've been working for six days on this. Um, they've learned a lot. I think it's been a really great process for them. And I think the best part about it is that it's really, um, we've really built some great bonds this week. I've had a really good time with all of them. And I'm uh, Max Zorn. I'm from Amsterdam, the Netherlands, and I'm a tape artist. So tape art is obviously art made with packing tape. And the beautiful part of it is that when you combine it with light, it sort of shows a translucent characteristics. And um, that entitles me to sort of use layers over layers and change the shade of that sepia tone the tape comes with. And I love this interactive part um, to just show not only the result of an artwork, but like show the process of, of an artwork being created. And I think that's something that's lost most of the time when you are in a museum or in a gallery. I feel this is a beautiful way to yes, transport like, the, the excitement artists have like, and pass it on to the, to the audience and let them participate in it. Um, I always associate Dubai with um, big aquariums full of big fish, so that was the first idea that sprung to mind. It's basically, I taught myself how to use a spray can, so I started off with simple balloon animals to try and make them look 3D and it worked quite well, so that my, my balloons have just got more technical over time. É, meu nome é Eduardo Cobra, é, eu sou do Brasil. Uh, 
As individual and independent as these artists are, they all have a, a need to communicate with the public. They all have something that they want to say, and they don't want to be locked into a gallery or wait two years to have a show. They want the people in the street to see what they have to say. They want the people in the street to see their images. So there's a powerful independence, but also a need to communicate. The festival is very big, and uh, the works that are made are also very big, but it's also very diverse. It's not only uh, 3D painting, but we have a lot of murals, and a lot of different techniques. Some people paint, some people spray, and it's uh, very inspiring to see all those different kinds of uh, artwork. I'm working uh, on the Darth uh, painting. It's going to be anamorphic painting. Uh, people can pose on the dart, so they have to lie down on the floor, and it looks like you are standing on the dart. My name is Gregor Wozik, from Deutschland. Das ist der größte und schönste Festival auf der ganzen Welt. Also, wenn ich das nicht sagen darf, das ist äh, wirklich fantastisch. Das hat noch äh, kein Land äh, so schön gemacht wie hier in Dubai. My uh, life uh, painting is uh, a teleport, uh, which is a, it's a machine. It stands here in the middle of the street, and you can go from uh, this dimension to another world dimension you can step into the machine and then you instantly go to somewhere else in the universe. High quality and I admire most of these artists so for me it's a, it's a good experience to work with them in the same festival I mean. We're very happy to share our works with all of you. See how the people enjoy is the most important. Me llamo Eduardo Relero, vivo en Madrid I was born in Argentina, I lived for 20 years in Spain. I invite Vito Mercurio from Italy. So I did three artworks for Dubai Canvas. Um, two were printed before I came and this is my live piece. Um, this one's titled Bookworms and it's about a couple of worms traveling through a book of algebra. Um, just a bit of fun. I've been doing 3D art for the past eight years and this festival by far is the top one I've ever been to. It's really wonderful to be doing something that's not for sale. Um, the beauty of 3D street painting and 3D chalk is that it's given to the public for free. People can walk by and enjoy it, they can pose with it, they can photograph it and take it away, they can put it on their Facebook and it doesn't cost a thing. It's a total honor to be here and I just think it's a really fantastic festival and um, I just want to say thank you to everyone involved. I actually, I have three artworks here, uh, two uh, printed one and uh, one live one, I'm, which I'm working right now. The helicopter and the buildings, and uh, its uh, uh, perspective is looking up the sky and you see the helicopter and the buildings. Everybody says, oh, helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> or even, uh, oh, especially in, uh, kids like this, yeah. I am Fabio Maria Fedele and I come from Italy. I live in Rovigo, which is 100 km from Venezia. It just goes to show that this man is thinking ahead of his time, in my opinion. His yeah. name is Neil Harbison. He's an avant-garde artist and a cyborg, apparently for the last 10 years. He's in the studio. Good morning, yeah. Neil. Thank you. You have an antenna attached to the top of your head. Explain why you've done this. Well, it's implanted. It's not attached, it's inside my skull. So it was surgically implanted and it allows me to hear the sound of color. So oh. color has light frequencies and this chip inside my head allows me to hear the sound of the colors around me. Here in, in Dubai, the aim is to create uh, art projects based on the sound of color and the color of sound. This is how I hear different uh, elements now. So now I can compose music by looking at colors. Instead of playing an instrument, I can actually have different colors in front of me, amplify the sounds in my head and create color contours. So I sent the colors that I heard through the antenna to Dr. Tos so that he could create a composition, an um, electronic piece with the, the notes of the colors of the bite. Right, so the melodic content comes from the sounds that Neil provided from his antenna. Yeah. And he collected those sounds um, in Dubai. So. Okay, have we got the song there? Should we play a little bit of the song real yes, quick? Yes, this, this is the song of Dubai, of Dubai colors. Have a listen to this. I 
inside it's quite silent, but then the wood is F sharp, so mainly F sharp. Giraffes are also between like G and F sharp, similar to the, the, the buildings actually. Yeah, this is A, this is a very different note. Today I met the shake and uh, I had the antenna pointing at his face so that I could listen to the colors and he sounded quite um, golden actually so I don't know if it was the but I could hear F sharps shades of F sharp and also a bit of yellow. I'm also collaborating with a choir from Raffles School and they are learning to sing colors so we'll present a color concert. Uh, where the audience will be seeing the colors that the children will be singing. The choir will actually be following the colors in these uh, screens and you'll be seeing the same colors at the back screen. So you'll be hearing the sound of color sung by, by the children. It's been great to be here, it's been a great experience to, to be able to sense the colors of Dubai and uh, then also collaborate with people from Dubai in order to express the sound of colors of their city. Yeah, I know people in Dubai love big cats, so I decided to make a shita, uh, standing on uh, some abstract chrome tubes to create some kind of 3D effect illusion. Yeah, it's my third time here, it's always cool to come here especially on the winter, because on my country it's cold right now. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's, it's a nice country, yeah. Hello, I'm from China. My name is Qi Xinhua. My work is in the book. It's used oil, and there is a dog. It's also used to be used to be used to be used. And this year we were invited back, but do some larger stuff, two large murals and uh, the piece behind me, uh, a wall and uh, for a combination. Well, I think so far so good. Uh, there's been a good uh, turn up, lots of people, lots of interactive interactivity. Uh, people ask us questions, of course, uh, and uh, impression so far is really good. My name is Filip Enzo and I'm from Russia, Moscow. I paint uh, here two cute kittens uh, playing with a balloon uh, shaped uh, like a star, silver star. Uh, this place is like a paradise and uh, uh, we'd like to stay here more. That's what I've found so wonderful about being here is that it's just this really joyous celebration of street art. Mm -hmm.